Hey, you guys. So today's message is a bit different. I would consider it more of a petition or a plea to the church. I want to start with Mark 12, 30 to 31. Love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Love your neighbor as yourself. Guys, in truth, we have Jesus Christ in our life. If you are a born-again believer, you have the privilege of having God in your life, having the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you into all truth. And this is a gift. This is truly a gift. And there is a world that doesn't know him. There is a world that's very distant from him. There is a world that is going to hell. And they are spending their days riddled by the fear of their basic needs. They're trying to find identity in the wrong things. They're living a life for themselves. And they don't know, some might, but many don't, that all of their toiling, their fighting, their difficulty, their struggles is actually found in God. They don't know this. They don't understand this. They are blind to all of this. And our job as believers is to love our neighbor as ourself, is to desire to go after those people. Like if we think about the Great Commission, go into all the nations. This is the call of every believer. We are not intended to hide. We are not intended to cover that communication. We are intended to proclaim it wherever we go, however we can. In James 127, we are told that pure and undefiled religion before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained or unspotted from the world. There is a very heavy emphasis within the Bible about how we're intended to relate to people. In Psalm 34, verse 18, we know that the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. In Romans 12, 15, we are told to rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. In Jeremiah, we are told that the Lord wants us to do justice and righteousness. In Hosea 12, 6, we are told to hold fast to love and justice and wait continually for God. Scripture after scripture, we are told God cares about people. God loves people. And he wants us to possess the same heart for people. And much like Jesus said that a good shepherd will leave the 99 to go after one. We are intended to live a life desirous to follow after him and to prioritize what he prioritizes. And without diverting too much into discussion about Pharisees and scribes, but one of the issues that Jesus repetitively took with them is that they were so focused on the little things, the details, like always these little things, these little rules, and they miss the big things. Love, justice, mercy. They missed those things all the time. So my petition, my plea is look around you. Like, look around you. When you when you go for coffee, do you see people there? When you go to the gym, do you see people there? Your neighbors, do you see people there? Your family members, do you see people there? Do you see people who don't know God, who are living for themselves? And my question is, what are we doing about it? And this ought not to just be in the interest of the people we know, but it's a good place to start. And if you're like, hey, listen, 
I'm scared. I don't know how to approach these conversations. Pray. Ask the Lord, help me to have the boldness to share your word. Help me to have opportunities to talk to people. I'm telling you time and time again, if I don't know how to bridge the conversation into it, I'll pray and he will help me link into that conversation and do it and share and talk. And the first time wasn't easy, nor was the second time, nor was the third time or the fourth time. But with time, it has become easier and easier and easier by the grace of God. The words come out and you see how he leads the conversation and the difference it makes in people's lives to know that God loves them, to know that hope isn't lost, to know that there is a better plan in Jesus Christ. And yeah, you're right. You're not perfect. You're never going to be perfect. All your striving and all your trying to be good is not getting you anywhere. And you still feel empty. And you still feel broken. And you're not going to find the answer in those things, but you will find it in God. And so my petition, my plea, look around and share with the people around you because there are people who need it and who may never have heard it. And you have no idea the difference that you can make in their life by sharing the greatest gift we could ever receive as people. Thanks for watching. Bye.